Good morning and happy Monday. Today we woke up at like six in the morning. We're doing this new thing where we go to bed and we wake up at the same time. I think that this is good for your circadian rhythm if I'm not mistaken. And this is like the second day of daylight saving so it felt like it was five in the morning it was really dark too because of the time change but it was nice like once you actually woke up and got things moving along it actually got kind of easy so feel good it's only about nine o'clock right now i did actually kind of a lot this morning in terms of getting ready we dropped off bryson using my new spring mug this is like the cutest mug i found this at home goods i've never really appreciated spring but i feel like it's now my favorite season because first of all it's very vibrant has lots of colors but i've never noticed because i grew up in florida like flowers blooming and like coming from you know all branches and like leaves falling and dark and gray and like watching it come to life the flowers blooming around north carolina right now is just it's absolutely beautiful i don't know how more people say that spring is their favorite season because it is absolutely beautiful it is such a beautiful Beautiful thing to witness more animals are coming out the bees are coming out like it's just it's really beautiful it's very very beautiful and I love the colors like the pop of colors so I am officially a spring gal now <laughs> I have kind of a busy day today I need to clean up the house it is an actual disaster I think I'm gonna put my timer on for like an hour and just knock out a quick clean of all the rooms like we have a five bedroom house now so it's not as easy but I'm gonna try to like just take the rooms that I think is most important right now, like Bryson's room, the bathrooms I'd like to get done. Um, but there's other rooms that are kind of like just work in progress and we'll just hit those later. We have a grocery delivery coming here in the next little bit. I usually go buy my groceries, but I have so much going on today and I need to restock the fridge and our grocery store is like 20 minutes away. And then coming back, it's just like a couple hour trip now when we go to the grocery store. So I thought I would just deliver and give myself that today. I have some computer work to do. I would love to get a workout in later, but I have to do it after Z gets off work. I need to run some errands. I would like to cook a healthy dinner tonight. We're just having ourselves a good productive monday morning before i start my day i'm gonna do a little bit of like bible reading i've found that when i do this in the morning and just give myself the time and space to just be quiet like undistracted i just feel better throughout the day and i feel more grounded i've kind of discussed and opened up to you guys about some recent like just thoughts that i've had going on in my head this is like super vital important for me um i definitely notice a difference when i don't do this in the morning I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul. This is more of like a Bryson haul, honestly. Um, but this is just for the next few days. We have pretty much all of our meat for dinners for the next few days. So I did end up only just getting a few side pieces for us. So we got some salad, green beans, carrot sticks for dips and stuff. Um, I did pick up some bubble bath for Bryson. They don't really have many options on Amazon or like Target and stuff. So I like Whole Foods because they have like really good clean ingredient skincare products and stuff um bryson loves uncrustables he's getting a little bit picky so i'm trying to find things that he'll eat now um these are like little broccoli littles haven't had these yet but i think he would like these i did end up getting some of this noosa yogurt so i've had these before these are really good their lemon one is really good i actually ordered some of those but they didn't have any and then i got some peaches for that some english muffins for us for egg sandwiches in the morning i got some oatmeal purely elizabeth granola some dates these looked really good <laughs> i've never had them before um and then i got some yogurt for bryson he loves yogurt animal crackers this um strawberry smoothie with like beets some popsicles these go macro kid bars we're trying new things he loves cuties so i got some of that i got some peanut butter for a recipe i'm gonna make here and almond flour i'm gonna do these healthier twix bars um and then i got some fruit and some blueberry jam attempt to try to make or bake these Twix bars. I will leave the recipe link down below, but essentially all you need is almond flour, some maple syrup, creamy or droopy as the recipe calls it, peanut butter, some salt, coconut oil, and then some vanilla extract if you desire chocolate chips. And I desire. So I'm gonna try to make these. Not gonna lie, I had a Twix last week and it was salted caramel. It was so good. And I was like, I can't just keep eating these. So I'm gonna make myself a healthier version. Drive the same roads every day. We both get there our own way. 
thistle and an apple tree. How different two souls can be. So the Twix bars are in the fridge cooling, and then there's one more step, which is the chocolate layer. And it has to cool for an hour, which is perfect because I just set an hour timer on my phone. To do some quick cleaning, I'm gonna see what I can accomplish in an hour, but let's get cleaning. my timer just went off got a lot done let's see how this turned out okay we've got the second layer on so now we're gonna do the chocolate layer three-fourths cup of chocolate chips a little extra for taste and one tablespoon of coconut oil you just melt this and then you add it as the last layer. So we're gonna pop this back in the fridge to harden and then we'll take it out later tonight and cut them into like little twix size bars i think that's gonna turn out really good it smells so good in here i wanted to show you guys a few home purchases that i recently made so this weekend i picked this like organizer up from home goods i think it was like 40 bucks or something i thought it was really cute for bryson's room i do want to get some new curtains i originally wanted plaid and honestly i bought these and like really quickly because i was doing vlogmas and i was trying to finish the video and like do a full room transformation <laughs> but I really don't think that this matches. I think like a nice plaid would look really good in his room, but this is a nice addition. We ended up organizing like all of these random knickknack toys. We've got his sports stuff up here, his Legos, and then this is like puzzles and his little toy train set that actually Xander grew up with, which I think is pretty cool. Um, if you ever need like really cute pieces, for like affordable prices that are unique. Um, I really highly recommend Home Goods. But this is the one I'm most excited about. So we ended up putting up our mirror, which I got from Joss and Maine. I will link it down below. It's a pretty big arched mirror, which we needed. And I actually found that pretty hard to find. Pulled out our candles. I thought that looked good here. And um, we'll eventually do some like family pictures and stuff over here, but it really does open up the space a lot. And I think it looks really, really good. It's like nice and flat. It matches with a lot of the framed art pieces that we have in the room. But the room is starting to come together. I think it's looking pretty good, I must say. This looks so good. Look at that. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Homemade healthy Twix bars. Healthy Twix? Is it the right Twix or left Twix? That and middle piece is literally like dripping, like the caramel. Have you had a bite of this yet? No. Oh wow. Mmm. That's so good. Highly recommend this recipe. This is really good. I'm in the guest room. We still have yet to finish this room. It's taking way longer than expected. But we did some paneling and i've painted a quarter of the room already the paint looks good this is the only wall that needs to be caulked so i'm gonna just run through that and let it dry and we'll possibly paint um sometime later this week but once this is done we'll be able to like actually finish painting the entire room so i've got to get this done real quick it shouldn't take too long So 
I did as much as I could, but um, still not done. Story of this room. I need to do a few adjustments to my office. First things first is our desktop. This desktop is old and I think she's run her course. I tried to bring her out. I knew she was really slow, but honestly, it's just taking me forever to like edit videos and it's so slow. Like it takes a second to even load up. I'm gonna have to put her away, unfortunately. Um, and then just transfer over a lot of the stuff that I used to edit onto like my laptop. And then I also want to see what this space looks like if the desk were to shimmy over to this wall. Because there's not a lot of room here, it's getting pretty tight. I think I'm just gonna play around with it and see what it looks like. Worst case scenario, I don't like it and I can always just move it back. this looks i feel like it's more open maybe eventually down the line we can do like an art piece right here maybe like a whiteboard of some sorts or a mirror maybe a mirror i think that would look really good because it would open up the space a lot but for now i think this is gonna work for me i also really love being able to look outside i did not like having my back to the window this just makes more sense for me so i'm gonna do a little bit of computer work here i have to transfer over a lot of the stuff that I had on my desktop to my laptop. I have some mail to get through, and then I'm gonna go pick up Bryson, spend some time with him. I would love to get into the gym before making dinner, and then knock that out, and then have myself kind of a calmer night. I like to like go, go, go in the morning, and then around two or three, I like to go pick up Bubby so that we have like a good chunk of time, just us two. He's in school, but he's like, it's part-time, but um, I always miss him so much, so I get super excited to pick him up. It's like the best feeling walking in and picking him up. Leaving him, not the best. It's actually really depressing. It makes me feel guilty, but I always continue to remind myself that everything I'm doing while he's in school is for him. It's for our family, and so that makes it easier. Like, I'm not... I don't have selfish motives at all. I really would prefer him to be with me all the time, but I've got to work and I'm going to get things done. So it just makes it easier. Plus he's getting like a curriculum over there. He's socializing. Like I genuinely think he loves it so much, but when I pick him up, he gets so excited. He like sees me and he gets so bright and smiley and he's like giggly. And it's just, I literally get butterflies every time before I pick him up. Such a sweet moment. So I look forward to that every single day. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can so I can go get that moment with my bubby. Cruising, headed for a bruising, watching out for number one. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. going to cook some dinner this brand sent us a whole bunch of different meats that we've been loving it's called just meats and they essentially just, literally it's just meat all we have to really figure out are the side dishes and they come with their own sauces and stuff so i thought this one would be good tonight oh wait not this one hold on so it's actually this one it's the hawaiian chicken teriyaki we had like a texas brisket the other night that was really good Ooh, the texas brisket <laughs> it was really good so this one comes with like a marinade and you basically just put it on the skillet for like i think it's two minutes and the meat's really good i'm gonna make this pair it with a salad we've got some rice going i am so cozy right now just got bryson down took off my makeup ready for bed <laughs> this is my favorite part of the day it's about 8 30 i'm loving that it's only just now getting dark before it was getting dark like so early and i was just i literally was going to bed at like eight every night like it's it was not good but i just set up 
are candles that I have on our new dresser and it looks so good. Uh, it's just feeling put together and it feels really nice. But Z and I are gonna sit here and do some journaling together. We found this new book. I'm gonna do a few exercises from it before I talk about it. Um, but so far we're really loving it and it's been a really good bonding experience. So I really look forward to that at night. And we woke up at six and we're going to bed at 10. So like in bed by 10, eyes shut by 10.30. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. So I really don't have any time for Instagram. I try to make that my goal like all the time. And I just like throughout the day forget or like it's just I'm overwhelmed with YouTube. So I came up with this new idea that I'm going to just take pictures throughout the day and then just post my day in bed. And it'll only take me 20 minutes tops. That way like I'm consistent with it, but I'm not spending every two seconds like trying to get a picture and trying to post and like ruining moments while I'm like in it if that makes sense. I think that makes the most sense for me on Instagram so I'm gonna do that in a little bit and just have ourselves kind of like a really calm night. I'm gonna have another one of those Twix things. Those were so good. Literally probably one of my favorite like healthy baking recipes ever and those brownies that I make are pretty good too. I haven't done like a day in my life in so long and I feel like this was so much fun. I really enjoyed doing this with you guys. Let me know if you liked it down below. Kind of like old school, but I, I love these style of videos. They make me really happy. So I had an amazing Monday, amazing day. Long way from last long. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. And I will see you guys all in Wednesday. Actually, today is Wednesday by the time you're watching this. So I'll see this on Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs> Bye guys. Mm -hmm.